Today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail using Canva. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing that you wanna do is do research on what kind of thumbnails are being created for the topic that you're going to be talking about. So for example, this video here today is gonna to be about how to create thumbnails. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually search that in my search bar using YouTube. So you're gonna go ahead and type in the topic or just a general keyword that is related to your topic. So if you scroll through our feed, we can kind of see a pattern with each thumbnail that we see. So the first thing that I notice is that all of the thumbnails have very big, clear words. It's simple enough to where you understand immediately what the thumbnail says without having to really stop and read into it. As I scroll through, I can see exactly what it says. So five minutes, Easy thumbnail, quick thumbnails, YouTube thumbnail, thumbnails that get views, how I make thumbnails, quick and easy thumbnail tutorial. So you can see that these stand out and it's super simple to where your brain can pretty much register it very quickly. Um, and using only about maybe two to five words maximum. I also see that the creators have their own portrait within the photos without any background. So the background is a solid color. Um, it makes the words and their portrait stand out. And then I can also see another common thing between all of them is that they have some type of device. So there's a phone here, a laptop there, there's a laptop right here. Um, this user has their phone, this user has her um, laptop. These are four common things that I notice between most of the thumbnails. That's the research that we're gonna take with us as we create our thumbnail ourselves. We're gonna to go to Canva and I do have Canva Pro. I highly recommend to invest in Canva Pro because it allows you to utilize features that the free version doesn't have. You can definitely get away with the free version, but it's not going to be as useful to you if you don't have the Canva Pro version. So I highly recommend it. And if you don't have Canva, you can sign up using the link in my description below. In the top right hand corner of Canva, you're going to click on create a design and you're going to go ahead and type in YouTube thumbnail into the search bar. You'll go ahead and select the first option which says YouTube thumbnail. And then you're going to get a blank canvas. So from here, again, we're gonna take what we know and we're going to apply it. So the first thing is that there's a blank background. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select the square that's in front of me right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the background color option in the top bar. And then you're going to change the background. So I noticed that the background between all of the thumbnails is on the cooler side. So there's blue, there's teal. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one that is as close to it as possible. Um, so we have gradient options, which I think could be very useful, or you can just go with the blank solid background. Um, but according to what I see here, it's kind of a gradient in a way. We can see that there's some with a little bit of a gradient, and then there's some of them that is just a flat color. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with a gradient. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these down here. I think this would be good because it kind of matches my brand in a way where it's just like light colors, um, kind of pastel looking. I wanna go ahead and kind of make it as close to my brand as possible. It doesn't necessarily have to be on brand, um, but this matches me more than compared to if I were to do like this color or this color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. And then as we did our research, we remember that there's a picture of ourselves. So. I'm gonna go ahead and find a picture of myself. Uh, what I would recommend to do before you even jump into creating thumbnails is to have your own photo shoot. Um, and in your photo shoot, you're going to take a bunch of photos of yourself doing different facial expressions. That way you can basically cut out the background and you can utilize that portrait of yourself and a bunch of thumbnails moving forward. But I haven't done that. Um, I'm gonna utilize what I have in my Canva upload dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and just select this one. And then if you decide to use a photo that has a background, or if you do photo shoot um, and you need to remove the background, Canva is amazing at just removing it. So all you have to do is select the photo, go ahead and click on edit photo. And then you're gonna go ahead and select BG remover. This is going to get rid of the background as you can see here, and then you can crop it as you need. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here. And then I'm going to enlarge it. So it's not the best photo, but if I were to have done a photo shoot, then I'm pretty sure that I would be able to 
um, get a photo that's as clear as possible uh, or that's, that's as similar as possible to the thumbnails we see here. Um, but what I am noticing is that their thumbnails are from the neck up or shoulders up. Whereas here I'm showing from my waist up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just zoom in as much as possible. And we're just going to pretend that this photo is very clear and it's not a little pixelated because we had to zoom in a lot. Um, but this is what that's going to look like. And then we also notice that there's a phone. So we're gonna go ahead and add a phone in here. All you have to do is click on elements on the left hand side. And then in the search elements bar, we're gonna go ahead and type in phone. There's a bunch of photos here with a hand holding the phone. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select one that is pretty similar. I think I will select this one. And then I want it to be to the side, but maybe something like that. So it doesn't really look as professional because of the direction that the hand is coming in but it makes more sense to me that it is this direction if i were to do it this way then it kind of just cuts off and it just looks very strange so if you look here you can see that the hands kind of look like they are the ones who are holding the phone up but in my design i'm not able to make it look like that so i'm just going to go ahead and add it here or what i could also do is maybe just use the hand itself, because right here, this one just uses the hand itself. So actually, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and stretch this out, make the hand as big as possible. And then we're going to make myself smaller and put myself into the frame. And as you can see here, I am in the background as well as in the wallpaper or just like the graphic of the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on myself and then I'm gonna go ahead and just crop it down so it fits in the phone itself. I'm gonna click on a random area in the gray space on the outside of the graphic and then boom, I think that looks good. And then as we look here, easy thumbnail tutorial, five minutes. So it looks like they have a sample of the thumbnail here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of basically design a thumbnail within our thumbnail. So I wanna go ahead and actually separate the phone, the, the thumbnail that's on the phone from the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on elements again, click on search elements and then type in square. I'm gonna go ahead and select a square shape and then add it in going to add in this square and then I'm gonna go ahead and make it just as big actually this one's not gonna work out because it's pointy and the phone is curved on the edges so I'm gonna delete that and then add this one right here and then you want to size it to where it matches up with the phone I'm going to select a white background so you can select the solid color in the top bar and then select the color that you want and then I obviously want it to look like it's within the phone. And also I want the photo of myself to be in front of the white background. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the position. And then on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on two back. And then that's what it's going to look like. So I think that looks awesome. As I review my research, I can see that we have the big words going on. And then we have the YouTube logo in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on elements. And then I'm gonna look for YouTube logo. And then I'm just gonna add it in there somewhere. We're just gonna add this one. And then we're gonna go ahead and type in very simple, bold, large words. So I think what would work best is easy thumbnail tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and select text on the left-hand side. We're gonna go ahead and click on add a text box. And then I'm just gonna bring this to the side over here. Obviously it's way too small, so you're gonna to want to bring up the size a lot. Um, let me just go ahead and change the text. So I'm gonna put easy thumbnail. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually click on duplicate. 
and then change the duplicated one to a tutorial. So then we have easy thumbnail tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tutorial inside of the actual like thumbnail graphic of the phone and then put easy thumbnail in my own thumbnail graphic here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and change the font style, which you can highlight the entire text click on the font style, and then I wanna choose something that really stands out, that's bold, um, that will allow people to pretty much easily read it when they just scroll through their apps. I don't want anything too unique. I want it to be very standard and just kind of get the job done without it looking too crazy. So I think Oswald will be a good one to utilize. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it as big as possible. I'm going to change the color font to white, and then I'm going to make it bold, and then I'm going to uppercase all of the letters. So then it's going to look like this. Um, and then what I wanna do is I'm actually going to make all of this a little bit bigger, just to fill up more space. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the tutorial. So this is Oswald, bold, uppercase. I'm going to do the same thing here. So this is going to be Oswald, bold, uppercase. I'm gonna go ahead and just stretch this out. I'm gonna compare apples to apples. Okay. So one thing when I initially look at my own thumbnail is that the words easy thumbnail does not stand out. It looks a little bit too blended with the background. So I can do one of two things. I can either select the background and change the color to something darker, like a dark blue or something like that. Or if I wanna keep the gradient the same, if I wanna keep the background color the same, go ahead and highlight the entire thing, select effects, and then select background. That way we can add a background to it without compromising the color of the background I have for my actual thumbnail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust it, make it look even. And adjust everything here just to make it all kind of proportionate. And then there we have it, we have our final thumbnail. If we compare this to our research, I think it looks pretty similar. So if I go ahead and just kind of minimize it, if I place the thumbnail side by side, we're gonna kind of compare what it looks like. So as you can see here, this is my thumbnail, and then we have these thumbnails here. And I think it looks awesome. I think it really gets the job done. It's clear um, if someone were to scroll through YouTube and they're trying to figure out how to create a thumbnail that's easy to do, I do think that they would click on my thumbnail. So that is how you create a very easy thumbnail using Canva. And again, if you wanna sign up for Canva, go ahead and select the link in the description below. If you found value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And then the next thing you wanna do is click this video here and I will see you there. Bye.